welcome to my kitchen again. This morning I'm going to show you how to make scones. So you're going to need some flour, 350 grams, 85 grams of butter, 75 grams of sugar, 200 millilitres of milk and some baking powder. Okay, so in my bowl, I have got my 350 grams of flour, self-raisin flour. I'm now going to add my 85 grams of butter. Now I'm going to do what's called the rubbing in method. So first of all, put your butter in, cover it with flour so it's not sticky. You're only going to use your fingertips for this because that's the coolest part of your hands. And then you break up the butter into tiny little pieces. Now this is called the rubbing in method. I've broken up my butter into little pieces and then you go through the whole mixture rubbing it with your fingertips only. Rubbing, rubbing, rubbing it until it looks like breadcrumbs. As soon as you've rubbed it in it should look like little breadcrumbs like that. You shouldn't have any large bits that come to the top. Now as soon as you're at that stage you're going to add your sugar using a table knife stir that into the mixture now to make it rise you're also going to add a teaspoon of baking powder so i'm going to measure out a teaspoon of baking powder and add that as well now into the mixture if you want to add some flavoring you could add it at this point so i've grated the zest of one lemon off of here using this, the very fine side of the grater. Okay, so I'm going to add that. I've made a little slit into my lemon, so I'm just squeeze a little bit of juice in. I'm going to keep that lemon for something else later. I'm going to put in a little teaspoon of vanilla essence to make it taste nice. Obviously, these things are extras. You can just make them plain. And now, at this point, you get yourself your table knife. Make a well in the middle. Pour your milk in. Cover over the milk with your flour. And then give it a good stir with your knife. Okay, so you keep, uh, keep stirring with the knife until it all starts to combine together to get, big, get together like a big ball. And at this point only do you get your hands in and then you get it together into a nice ball. So I've put my ball of dough onto the surface. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tiny little bit of flour, just enough so it doesn't stick to the surface. If you put too much on, your scone dough will be dry and floury. So you just press it down with your hand gently to get it to the size you want. Now I usually use this part of my finger as a guide, so I put it against it. It's about that size, then it's ready to use the cutter. With your pastry cutter, you then push into the mixture, give it a wiggle, take them out and place them onto a baking tray. Okay, next we're going to glaze the tops of our scones. And to do that, we beat an egg, And then you use a brush and you gently egg wash the top. Okay, now my scones are ready to go into the oven. I'm going to put them into the oven 180 degrees C or gas mark 4 for about 20 minutes. Okay, when they are ready, <laughs> sorry about the dog in the background, take mm. them out of the oven using oven gloves. And then transfer them onto 
a cooling rack. This one's exploded a little bit, as you can see. Transfer them onto a cooling rack. And then, after about five or 10 minutes, they are ready to eat. When they're cool, add some jam, and if you've got cream, and eat. Mm -hmm.